bikin tuh sama dibikin We want to talk about a, a fundamental assumption, which is really rather a difficult one to maintain, that documentary differs from uh, fictional film in having a greater claim on some sort of reality. Um, this is this has been in the hands, I must say, of, of the British and the North Americans, Anglophone hands. For the longest time, this has been um, conflated with the idea that therefore there's an objective truth and that filmmakers simply lurk on the wall and there's nothing man-made, woman-made about what they do, um, which is a sort of pretty ridiculous idea. Just This year I saw a film called, uh, shall I say what film it was yeah. that I saw? Urim and Thunim. Uh, I saw that film and within 10 minutes of this, this is in possible do these people really exist and but then and so that was the moment the idea come all combining this together yeah we go to hide a fake documentary within the festival and whether it's fake or not I don't care to be honest I wanted a debate and a discussion to go on and maybe to end forever so we go in there I was looking for old glassware I've come to know that carnival glasses these people collect So I'm gonna look for something to buy and resell, no matter what it is, you know. That's what I do, I buy and resell. And I, so I'm going through there, and all of a sudden, I seen uh, on the shelf a little object sitting up there, this little black piece of look like marble. And I said, well, what's that? And Dale said, it's an old piece of rock. And when I picked it up, Lo and behold, it was one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen in my life. It was something that drawed me to it. So, um, uh, then I showed this film also to some people in my office. I showed it to, to, uh, to a lot of people and they said, Oh yes, this is absolutely fake. We could see it within 10 minutes, you know. Same as I had. Of course, we did some research and we called the director and he really says it's not fake. The funny thing is, yesterday we had the nominations. And uh, uh, the student award, there's one nomination that's completely fake. And I didn't know that, really, but uh, the director is telling it everybody that he staged everything, that he invented the story, and it's absolutely, and he's using archive material for it. The funny thing is that it's nominated now for a prize as well, and I really loved it. I don't care that much as well. You know, we're seeing here wonderful films that deal with reality, that deal with things that are happening in this world, and... Uh, 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 what is I just love the animation documentaries, I love the, the hybrid films, and I do think that documentary is everything between poetry and political propaganda. I think that uh, not only has Werner bridged the gap more effectively than anybody else between the distinctions between documentary and fiction as they're commonly understood, but he's also been extremely thoughtful and outspoken about what the nature of the difference is, which basically is that there isn't that much as far as you're concerned? Well, I, I do not really care much about uh, what, what the definition is, whether this is a documentary or not. I, I couldn't care less. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't get any, anyone anywhere. Nor is it helpful for the films. For me, it's just movies. And, and I believe this whole concept of uh, what Hubert also mentioned, Uh, being the fly on the wall is just uh, just uh, nothing but retarded. Right. Um, 